what's going on. Um, kind of a slow day to day, like cleaning up. Um, so I figured I'd kind of make a little update. Um, the last two videos have been on the Civic. So I figured I'd kind of show what's going on with the RX-7. I still have it. Um, I think I filmed a bunch of things about it and I never posted them. So I kind of haven't really shown what's been going on with it. Um, I'll show that right now. So the Civic is running well. Um, need to lower the front one of these days. Um, but you know, it's running good. I also have a lip for the rear that I want to put on. But here's the RX-7. Um, I put on my original anniversary wheels in the front because um, I had to drive it and those tires are good and they're a little bit wider than the 13 inch Enkis and I still have my Enki 52s in the rear. And I don't know if I've shown this but this is the front fender and bumper for the wide body kit that I've been slowly repairing. Um, looks pretty cool. Obviously not with um, four inches of wheel gap, uh, but it's still a work in progress. It um, is piecing together. It was in, it was broken here, here, and here. And then this corner, there was a big chunk missing. Um, and it was smushed up under that other car that I had. Um, so I don't really remember if I've shown any of that stuff, but anyways, this is what it is. Um, this is what the front end looks like. I have fog lights for in here. Um, I was thinking about putting fog lights there or making some sort of like brake cooling duct. I thought that would be pretty cool. I might do smaller square fogs there and then on the outside do like a square tubing that runs back to like a duct for brake cooling. Not that I'm going to be doing any aggressive driving, but shit like that's kind of cool to me like when you kind of take your time and do something like that that's unnecessary but it's like a nice little detail um i do need to raise the support bar up because i don't know if you can tell right there there's a little bit of a gap and on the other side there's not so much of a gap so i need to kind of reinforce the whole thing and straighten it out and it's like Definitely gonna take a long time to make it perfect, um, but I don't expect it to be perfect. Also, I'm in the market for a new hood. I have a little ding right there in a weird crease, and the whole thing is kind of not perfect. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there, in there, are two spots. And then right here, there's another thing that could probably be fixed, but then there's another dent here and another one here. So I'm just kind of going to wait and see what I can get. But like here's a close up look. I'm kind of circling all the places that I need to fix. There was a lot of cracks. So I dremeled out the cracks past where the point of the cracking was. And I filled it all back in. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the best way to do it. But I am still pretty much an amateur when it comes to working with fiberglass and filler and, and all that stuff. So... Um, I have it in for reinforced on the outside, but I had to do it this way on the outside just so I could uh, hold it together while I reinforced it on the inside. So all of this stuff is, you know, it's a lot sturdier than it used to be. Well, because it used to be in multiple pieces, but um, it's coming together. Um, the fenders need some work. I haven't really touched them. I just threw it on the car so I could drive it while I was working on the Civic. I need to fix this section um, and the only way that I have it spaced out oh I also there's a tab because it bolts in right here there's a bolt and I think yeah the tab on this side is broken on that side it's not so it fits a little bit better over there but it you know it needs a lot of tweaking it's got like mold on it from sitting um, I have the side skirts that I pulled off I had to pull the side skirts off I don't know if I talked about that. I think I may have in the coilover video. Um, I have them there out back. I'm working on them. But everything else is still together. The car still runs good. 
it drives well the coilovers kind of need some adjustment I might want to go lower on the spring stiffness um, but the springs are relatively cheap so if I ever want to do that it's not that big of a deal um, I have a glass moonroof so this thing is going in the garbage there's no saving this thing I don't think it's all rusted to shit and then I just had to tape over these because it was going to rain some more and the rust right there is getting bad same thing with the other side but the interior is still as it is um, it's all you know just a slow work in progress this fender is better than the other one but it's far from perfect so still working away at it um, with the Civic um, I just finished installing back seats that I got from the junkyard they aren't perfect but before I had none back seats so anything is better than none I don't know if I've shown what's going on on the inside I've got the garage moon power floor mats that I got from some guy that I know who lives around here I've got the uh, bride rep that I got from a buddy of mine because it already had EK rails on it and I needed a different seat because the seat <coughs> oh, oh, sorry um, sneezed um, the seat that I originally had was a stock EK seat that was garbage as was the passenger I got a Integra confetti gray cloth seat um, for like 20 bucks um, and it's like in perfect condition really there's no uh, rips or anything like that. I've got this steering wheel that came out of the RX-7 on uh, the blue RX-7. I think I showed that before um, with a energy quick release, which I got um, when I bought the seat. The guy just had a bucket of parts and he said I would take the quick release and like a starter and a couple of other things. Um, I do want to lower the front of the car, like I said, um, but it's running good for now. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, I used it as a thumbnail for the last video. Um, but for this video, since my main focus is the RX-7 um, and what I'm doing with it, the plans are there's some rust here and then some rust in the same spot on the other side. I'm going to remove the rear windows, take it over to my uncle's house. We're going to grind all this out, uh, weld it all back, smooth it all out. Same with here. Grind all this stuff out. I'm not going to peel the tape back, but you kind of I'm sure you can gather an idea of what it's like. That's really the only major rust that I can find on the car. There's some here and some here. They were there before. I didn't grind them down, I guess, or uh, grind them down enough or moisture got in or something. But, um, you know, I'd really like to make some cool side skirts. I was either going to make, make cooler side skirts out of the ones that I already have or uh, order FC RX-7 side skirts and make it work that way. Um, but the cheaper option is to just make uh, the ones that I have work. So I'm all for saving money, um, especially um, when, when it comes to you know buying parts that I don't need to buy parts for if I need to take you know a couple of hours and make something cool. I will do that um, yeah so that's what's going on uh, I still run this car whenever I remember to um, it'll look cooler with the rear panels on there actually I'll show you those right now because I don't remember if I've ever shown them I really don't think I have another thing that I remembered is I got a set of rear seats they're hiding under here um, I got the blue belts, I have all the, all the hardware, all the mounting hardware and everything for the rear seats. Um, so that's cool. I got a very good deal on those. He's nice. The guy is a very nice guy. Um, he's building a first gen, completely stock, rebuilt OEM, everything. Very cool guy. Back here, um, look at this infestation of carpenter ants. I'm really not trying to get bit by these guys because they're massive, but uh, hopefully I can stay out of their way. Um, I haven't done anything to this yet. Um, God damn, there's so many ants. Um, I haven't really done anything. I need to trim them down. I think I am going to use riv nuts, but I have to make sure that, I don't know if they have steel riv nuts, but I don't think you can use 
I don't want to use aluminum like rivets because that's what they used to mount these to the other car and it uh, rusted out and I pretty much pulled these off the car, like just yanked them off. I did have to make a couple of cuts with the angle grinder, but I pretty much just was able to cut them right off the thing. And uh, yeah, I just have to figure out how to mount them. If anybody knows how I should mount these to the rear quarters, whether it's removable or non-removable, uh, I'm taking any advice that anyone can give just because I'm kind of out of ideas at this point. Uh, so let me know in the comments. I'm also going to put my Instagram um, in the description because I never do and sometimes I don't check comments if there is any at all. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, you probably can't hear me that well. I'm going to try to get back through all these ants. That's honestly crazy. They weren't here last weekend and now there's a billion of them i mean that's and they're huge too they're easily like look at how big this guy is ah that's fucking good ants and bugs but i i have to clean up this big mess back here so that's kind of everything that's going on right now um the arc 7 isn't really getting a whole lot of work done to it at the moment uh, just because I'm busy with other stuff uh, now that the Civic is back together and I can finally get the AC uh, recharged and running again um, we shall see what happens um, I uh, am hoping that that will work well and that the car will run well for long enough that I can focus and save money and kind of you know get the rx7 where i want it within this by pro hopefully by summertime really if i can get it you know if i can work on it at least like one day a week until like this summer um even if it's doing little things like taking the interior apart and cleaning it up and doing doing the stuff like that uh, that'd be awesome. I would love to have the car done sooner than later because I miss driving it. And, um, I don't know. It's a fun car. Rear wheel drive is a lot different than driving a front wheel drive car every day. I miss the fun of a rear wheel drive car every day. But I don't miss the crazy hot heat, um, especially living in Florida, South Florida. Um, it's just unnecessary like I, I I don't know why I would I mean I did it for a long time but picking to drive a car without AC here when you have the easily could have a car with AC is dumb um, but yeah I'm kind of tired today so you know just kind of figured I'd do like a little walk around show you what's up and try to keep doing interesting things that people might want to watch um so i will see you guys in the next video